Let's talk about two ways to measure the moisture content in your compost or your vermicompost. The first way is a little bit tedious, but very accurate. And the second way is a little less accurate, but something that you are probably already doing. So let's talk about the first method. What you're gonna need is you're gonna need an oven safe dish like Pyrex or some other glass or ceramic oven safe dish. And you are going to, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna weigh the dish and see, uh, see what it weighs empty. And this gives you what's called a tear weight. So after you find your tear weight, you're gonna take a representative sample of what's in your worm bin and you're going to put it in your, put it in your dish and you're gonna weigh it again. Whatever that weight is, minus your tear weight is your wet weight. Then you're gonna take the dish with the compost in it and you're gonna put it in your oven at 220 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours. At the end of that 24 hours, you wanna let your uh, dish cool and then you're gonna take it out, you're gonna weigh it again. You're gonna subtract the tear weight from that weight and that is your dry weight. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your wet weight minus your dry weight, divide it again by your wet weight, and this is gonna give you a number well below one. Then you're gonna take that number, multiply it times 100, and that is the moisture content as measured by percentage in your compost. This is an accurate way to do it. This is probably the only way that most people, the most, uh, the only, way that most homeowners are really going to be able to accurately measure their uh, measure their moisture content. Um, so let's talk about the second way, which is essentially the hand squeeze method. You're going to pick up, a, again, a representative sample. And by representative sample, I mean, don't, don't just scrape off the top. Get a little bit from the top, a little bit from uh, a little bit from a few inches below, basically what the bulk of your vermicompost bin or, worm, or compost bin is. And you're going to squeeze it. And if you can get, if you squeeze it really firmly and get about one drop out, and I'm talking firmly, it's got to be as, about as hard as you can, that is about a 68 to 73% moisture content. Uh, I, I know that that sounds like, okay, how do you know what's the difference between 67 and 68? To be honest with you, I don't know and I kind of don't care. All I care is that I'm in a decent range. So when you do the hand squeeze method, it might be a great idea to actually do it before you do method one. That way you can pick up the, the compost, you can squeeze it, sort of feel what it feels like, then you can measure it and go back and say, okay, I understand now the, the uh, percentage that I was feeling there. So again, I encourage you to do method one, and uh, which is the oven method, and then combine it with uh, method two, which is the hand squeeze method, method. And over time, you'll probably find that you really don't need to do the oven method anymore because your hands will essentially be trained to know the moisture content that, that it's currently feeling. All right, guys, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at steve at urbanwormcompany.com. Go ahead and subscribe uh, to this YouTube channel and uh, let me know what your uh, results are and if you thought that you were in the right range or not. Uh, I'd be interested to hear from you. All right, we'll talk to you again soon. See ya.